We are here at Real Housewives of New Jersey star Kathy Wachili's gorgeous new Franklin Lakes home for a behind the scenes exclusive tour. Let's go inside. Kelly. I'm great, how are you? Thank you Good so much you. for having us. We're Come so on in. You built this home from the ground up. We did, we did. We found the lot and um, you know, we took some time deciding on our plans and deciding what we were gonna do. I wanted to have an old world feeling but with new contemporary lines. And so I wanted to be able to stand at my stove and be able to feel what was happening in the house. And I, and, and because of that, I didn't want any, if you notice, I don't have any upper cabinets. I don't have any cabinets. I did not notice that. Yeah. That's very interesting. I only have these two, Just and then I have stuff? some in the butler's pantries here. Wow. Because I wanted, I didn't want to obstruct my view from what was happening in the house. I wanted it to be an easy flow. And, you know, this, I wanted the outdoors in, and so I wanted a lot of windows. We moved in on December 23rd and December 24th. Christmas Eve, we had like 80 people here. What? Everything what? was in its place. The next day, 80 people? 80 people, and it was so much fun. Oh so my they leave to like five in the morning. In <laughs> every room we had like, I had put, like, had put up like four Christmas trees, and it was just really a four great Christmas time. Trees. Yeah, it, yeah, it felt like home immediately. How so, long was the design process and planning? Um, it took us about a year to get the plan set. Because okay. in the interim, we were filming the show, we were traveling, we were, you know, doing other things. So um, I was starting my, my dessert business, I was writing my cookbook. So there was a lot of things happening, and so you really needed to concentrate. And then I kept changing my mind, and you know, and, and fine-tuning things. And I don't think when you build a house, especially a house of this size, you really should be, you should be like rushing into any decisions. It's very difficult to get around when you have a big, big island. Okay. So for me, this, I call it Kathy's Triangle. It's this right here. Oh, this is the it's, triangle. Yeah, the okay. triangle. The <laughs> stove, your sink, uh -huh. and your refrigerator. Okay. The chef needs to be able to access that at all times. So this is a French French door style. Beautiful. And um, it has a pizza stone. Blue Star makes these great ovens. Um, they're commercial grade for the home chef. So how many dinner parties have you had here so far? Oh, you know, I had a lot. I've had a lot already. You know, people were asking, are you going to have a big housewarming party? And I was planning to do that, but then Christmas kind of was a housewarming because we had oh, just definitely. moved in and Literally 80 a people. <laughs> yeah. We called this the hearth room because, you know, it's like cozy and warm. And so I wanted to be in this spot because this is where everything happens. So why why make a bar somewhere else yeah. when you know you're all joined around and you're having cocktails and you're having food and this is the perfect place for it. So and then when we're entertaining outside, it's easy access for outside too. So when we were designing the house too, I wanted to be able to come from the front door and be able to see the pool. I wanted that open air. Yeah. That's why I didn't have any stairs in the way. So if you walk in, you don't see any stairs. They're hidden. Yeah, they're hidden. And yeah. I really think that it was so necessary. You could see a little hint of the stairs and the railing, but I really, I didn't think it was so important. For me, I wanted the outdoors in. We sit out here and we hear like the frogs and we hear like, the birds chirp and have a little bird. It's so nice. It's and this is fun. so lovely, this sitting area. You. It's really relaxing. We sit out here, every, you know, almost every night, the TVs. Uh, you know, oh, these are TVs. They're TVs, so we oh, can, awesome. and we don't want to miss watching TV. Of course not. You know, so we have our Netflix and we watch <laughs> Bravo. And we have it all out here and hang outside and enjoy the summer. You know, in New Jersey, we get so many, so few months to really enjoy it. So, so we try to take advantage of it as much as we can. Yeah. So this is really a family-oriented. It is. Home. It is for my kids that are that are grown adults now. For them to have their friends over earlier, you saw. Joseph was yeah. had friends over, and I want them. To, this is their home, and I don't. I'm not in any rush to get rid of them. I want them here. I want their friends here, and you know, all of our friend, family and you know, everybody gathers here. So it's really, it's a really good space. So, any plans already to do another home? Well, um, my husband is already starting to look for different <laughs> lots and different properties to either rehab them and, and, and do another, you know, a house or. I'll uh, find another from the ground up and do it that way. So he, we have one already in the process. We have a, a Jersey Shore property that we are planning to redo. It was um, damaged by uh, Superstorm Sandy. Okay. And um, we bought it when it was damaged already. And so it, it's a knockdown or we, we're trying to decide if we're gonna rehab it 
or knock it down. And it's a beautiful spot. It's right on the open bay. And so I'll have the boats and that will be my artwork.